certainly does, and he gave us a lot of information, but also, Wolf, he had a lot of explaining to do. He left a lot to the imagination, and my first question was, why release the name and the video at the same time? Take a listen. So there, there have been a lot of questions about uh, the releasing of the video and the releasing of the officer's name at the same time, where, in their, where it appears they're not connected, but by doing so, you're connecting them. But can you say beyond a shadow of a doubt that that is Michael Brown in the video that who pushes a clerk and who steals a cigarette, cigarellos? I, I don't think I ever did say that that was anyone. What I said was uh, I was getting questions about questions from the media about a robbery that occurred prior to the shooting, and I wasn't commenting on that robbery. Um, and then I started getting freedom of information requests from various news outlets, and uh, we sat on it as long as we could and. Uh, reached the point where uh, we had to release it. I felt that it would be prudent if I was releasing that. It would, could be inflammatory if I released that, but didn't release the name of the officer. You do think it's Michael Brown? Yes. Well, beyond a shadow of a doubt? Um, I think it's Michael Brown. But you understand the controversy and the outrage because the family members, and not only family members, but people in the community say that you are trying to discredit him, trying to soil his reputation, trying to divert attention to something else besides the, the actual shooting. Uh, when, we, we're not. We did. We just. We tried to sit on this thing as long as we could. Um, I didn't want to release it. Um, I was told by my city attorney that she was concerned that people were going to start filing lawsuits about it if we didn't uh, didn't release the tape. I'm going to quote what the family says. The family says this tape release was devious and that you are assassinating the character of their son by releasing the video, attempting to smear the character of the victim, and that you're essentially blaming the victim. What do you say to that charge? That's that's absolutely not true. That I, I had no intent other than to comply with the freedom of information request. My heart goes out to her. I feel so terribly bad for her. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a terrible tragedy all around. So everyone made the assumption that the two were connected, right? And you said the officer who shot Brown, right, the officer mm -hmm. Darren Wilson, had no idea that Brown was a person who allegedly robbed this store. And, and on their initial contact, their initial contact was simply he was coming from a sick case, saw two young men walking down the street in the, in the road, blocking, you know, traffic, and uh, he pulled up and asked them to get onto the sidewalk. And then as he passed them, you know, I guess that's when he, he might have seen the evidence and connected it. But his initial contact was strictly pedestrian. What do you mean seeing the evidence? The, the, uh, there was a broadcast that went out about a stealing uh -huh. and there were uh, uh, cigars stolen, a right. couple boxes of cigars. Okay, so. but, when, but when he initially confronted him or encountered him, it was just to get out of the road. Right. Let's talk about uh, Darren Wilson, 28 years old, six-year veteran of the police department, right? Mm -hmm. Have you spoken to him today since the information came out? Yes. And? Uh, he, he was aware that it was going to happen and as a matter of fact, he uh, um, he, he was okay with it because it was, uh, it was something that would felt may, uh, may calm things down if his name was released. Is, is there some release, relief from him that it's released, or is, did he not want his name being released? Well, no, he didn't want his name being released, but uh, he was okay with it uh, if it would help. For people who say that you, you know, we, they talked about transparency. The people in the community really wanted transparency. They wanted the officer's name. They wanted to know how many shots, where he was shot. For people who say you waited far too long to do any of that, what do you say to them? I, I, right now, it's, it's five, six days later, and you have everything, everything that, that I can, can release has been released. Everything you've asked for has been released. Um, there's, there's nothing more that I can do. At the, at the press conference we watched today, you seem to get a little flustered. <laughs> Yeah. Was that because you're tired or you just couldn't find words or what? I was looking for the word inflammatory and I couldn't find it. So, I've so been I just there. moved on. <laughs> yeah, I've been there before. I, I, yeah. It happened to me on the live shot today. But what has this been like for you? This is, this is, uh, this is tense. This is really, it's heartbreaking uh, what's happened to the community and what's happened to the, the family that's suffering that loss. Um, this, this is just the, the, the worst thing that I've ever seen in my career all you, around. Speaking of your career, do you think you'll keep this job? That's not my decision to make. Do you I'm, want I'm, to... I'm going to stay here to work our, to, to make sure we work through this. And I want to be part of rebuilding the community. Yes, I want to stay. Do you think that you can regain the trust of this community? I do, yes. And the police can? I your, do. Your officers? Yes, I do believe that. Do you regret at all releasing the information, the videotape, on the same day as the officer's name? Well, um, I didn't want to release either one. If you had as to you do know, it all over again. As you know. Um, 
or thinking was, if I'm going to have to release this tape, it's really going to be inflammatory if I release this tape and I still don't release the name. So I thought if I have to release this tape, then we're, we're going to release the name. Okay. And that was, that was our thinking. I don't think there was any good way to do it. Thank you. Okay.